it's your girl Latoya Michelle coming to you today with another vlog video. Um, it's it's time. We had to have a sit down, y'all. Like I haven't came to y'all and sat down and talked to you in a minute. Um, I know my last video was more of a uh, style, so I think I'm gonna kind of like rotate them. Yeah. You think so? You think I should? Does it matter? Okay. Listen, we're gonna talk. We have some things to discuss. So go ahead and have a seat, sit down with me, join me, okay? If you are new to the channel, welcome, welcome, welcome to the channel. Go ahead and click that like button and don't forget to subscribe to your girl's video and your girl's channel. We're moving on up, okay? If you are not new with me, thank you so much for riding with your girl. Y'all already know it is very much appreciated. Love y'all. In honor of Valentine's Day, I want to love on my new lockets, okay? I want to lo love on my starter lockers. I want to love on my baby locks. I want to learn love on everybody who falls within that first year. If you fall within that first year, listen, this video is for you. So the reason why I decided to go ahead and dedicate this particular video to my starter lockers is because you guys always have a lot of questions and you guys are literally trying to figure out what is going on with my locks, right? Um, that first year, so much is happening. There's a lot of movement that's happening on your head and you just don't know if you're doing it right. You don't know if you're in the right place. You're like, did I start these locks off wrong? Like where is the problem um and a lot of times there isn't a problem a lot of times it's literally just a matter of you guys you know just being patient enjoying the journey i'll see this lighting okay i'm sitting from the window the sun's going down but baby it's giving me a look so i'm gonna keep it okay so y'all bear with me so i'm gonna start with zero to three months so from the time that you decided to lock your hair, you went and started off with coils to strand twists, or you started with braids. If you started your locks, listen sis, you already took the biggest step and that's literally taking this journey because this journey ain't always easy um it's not an easy journey to do it's not an easy journey to continue and it's definitely not an easy journey to keep because there is time that i want to cut my hair off like i'm just like listen i'm so sick of these locks i'm about to cut these bad boys off okay but you know there's going to be different stages that you're going to go through but that first three months Literally, that is the time where you need to just like love on yourself, like get to know who you are as a person. You need to get to understand your hair because where you are now in your lock journey is definitely not where you're going to be in the next year. It's not even where you're going to be in the next six months. Okay. So what they look like now, you may think they're supposed to look more mature and they don't. Um, they literally probably look scraggly or they probably just look like they're not doing anything. So from zero to three months, so this ain't really much happening. There's not really much going on. Now, <laughs> from three to nine months, now y'all are the ones that get antsy. I remember between three and, and nine months, I was a little antsy, but I did a lot of research, so I knew that it was I was gonna go through the ugly phase. Um, and I knew that it was gonna start looking a little weird. Now, I didn't expect for it to look as weird as it did, but baby, while I was going through my journey, you couldn't tell me nothing. Like, I thought I was hot stuff, honey, um, and I wasn't, I, I was not. When I look at those pictures now, I'm like, ooh, girl, Ooh, you looked a mess, okay? Like, yo, hell, it wasn't hitting, sis. But I still thought, like, I thought I was the business. So from three to nine months, the things that you will be experiencing during this time is going to be frizziness. It's going to be out of this world. Like, your hair is going to be so frizzy. You're going to be like, how do I reduce the frizz? You don't. You, you don't like there's nothing you can do to reduce the frizz it is what it is um some things that i did to help reduce the frizz was uh two strand twists uh whenever you go get a retwist go ahead and do a two strand twist and it's going to help to kind of like formulate the lock and it'll kind of reduce the amount of frizz that you get but frizz is a good thing frizz is not bad because you need that frizz to help mend the hair together your hair gotta get rough and tough like you 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 know you got to have that frizz to help mend that lock together which segue me into another thing okay 
when your hair starts to mend, when it starts to mat, uh, when it starts to kind of like ball up together, you know what that's called? Do you know what that's called? It's called budding. Yeah. So budding is extremely important. Budding is so ugly, and but it's so important. Um, when your hair starts to bud, you're going to see like this is like a lock, right? If this was a lock. You'll start to see like little areas just randomly right here, maybe in another spot where you get these large like clumps of hair. They look like just knots um, and that's budding. That's literally your hair starting to formulate into a real lock. So if you think about where you were from zero to three months, your hair just looks like it looks like a plait or it just looks like a coil or it just looks like a twist or whatever. There's no real like form to it. It really looks like limp. OK, it doesn't even look like a lock. But once that budding starts to happen, that's what helps your hair start to look like a real lock. And baby, when I tell you when I got my budding, okay, when my hair started budding, you couldn't tell me, again, nothing. This whole time I thought I was the junk, the whole time I, I wasn't, y'all, until after a year. During that time, that's when people would be like, are you locked or do you have locks? I started getting questions like that in between maybe about six to nine months, people started asking me for real, like, hey, do you have locks? Um, oh, your locks are so pretty. And I'd be like, they look like locks? Cause I thought I looked like a frizzy mess, okay? Inserts picture. Um, but I thought that my hair was just really, really frizzy. And around that time is when people start to notice, or even you, you'll start to notice that your twist, your two strand twist is kind of starting to uh, not so much look like a twist. You're starting to kind of transition into the locking phase, right? Now, so many, again, so many things is happening during this time. Your hair is starting to mat together. Your hair is starting to bud. But you know what else is starting to happen? Your hair is starting to shrink. Yeah, your hair is going to shrink. So, so many of us, I'm not going to say y'all, even though I'm talking to y'all, but so many of us think that, like, our hair is something wrong because our hair isn't growing down. Okay, we're just like, oh my God, like my hair is starting to like, it won't hang and it's not going to hang. Your hair probably will not start hanging until after your year because the first thing that happens is your hair is going to start to go up and shrink because it's budding together, it's matting together. So your hair is going to shrink. But once your hair gets a little bit more mature, so once you get to that like nine, to 12 month stage, that's when your hair is gonna start doing a little bit more maturing and then it'll start to grow down. Yes, ma'am. So there's nothing wrong, sis. There's nothing wrong with your lock. So if you see the budding, there's nothing wrong with it. Love on it and keep it moving. Don't try to manipulate it. Don't try to take it away. Just let it do its thing, okay? Too much palm rolling is a bad thing. Don't do that because then your hair will get too compacted and then it'll, it'll just, it won't, the locks won't do what the locks need to do. At this time, doing that zero to 12 month stage, you shouldn't be doing crazy stuff to your locks either. Now, at the end of the day, it's your business, all right? So don't be like, oh, she said that you shouldn't, mm -mm. at the end of the day, baby, that's your business. But all I can do is just give you helpful tips on what you probably should not do. One of the things that I think that you should not do in between your first 12 months of being locked is dye your locks. Not because, um, you know, dryness or anything, but I do believe that your hair is starting to uh, kind of learn who it is. Like your, your, your locks are maturing, your locks are growing, your hair is matting, and your hair is so sensitive during this stage that I don't believe that dyeing your locks within the first year is a smart move. Now, if that's something that you want to do, if you're going to a loctician and your loctician has said, hey, that's fine, that's good, you can do what you want, then do what you wanna do. Um, but I personally do not recommend doing any type of like dyeing in your first 12 months. Um, the second thing that I don't recommend that you do within your first 12 months is going to just be like trying all these random products. Like don't run out and, and try to 
find all these products to use because some products may cause buildup. And with you being in that first stages of your locks, your locks are starting to trap in more things because it's still a trying to mend together. So in between those mending, you're, you can trap product in, in your locks, if that makes sense. I'm trying not to be complicated. I'm sorry, y'all. But, you know, you don't want to experiment with too many products, especially heavy products that can cause that buildup in your locks at an early stage. Um, I don't feel like you even need to detox your locks in the first year. Like, I see a lot of people detoxing their locks and they only been locked for like six months. Now I'm like, sis, what's in your hair that you need to detox within the first year? Um, but, I mean, again, they could probably be using products that they shouldn't be using within that first year. I know for me, I started off with using just aloe vera gel to Talia Waji, um, locked, lock it up. I never remember the name, but... Y'all already know, I've told y'all several times what I use. So, check it out. That's what I use the whole time that I've been locked. I have not deviated, I have not strayed from it, and it's worked for me. And I'm very okay with being simple when it comes down to my locks. The only time I do anything that can be kind of complicated is when it's time for like treatments and things of that sort. But even treatments, your first year, you really don't need treatments unless you have an issue. If your hair is dry, um, if your hair needs some type of love, but you should follow that up with your loctician. Me personally, I didn't really need any of that in my first year because I stuck to a very simple reg regimen, which is just simply making sure that I'm moisturizing my hair on the daily. Thing number three, and I'm only going to talk about three things. We ain't going to go too deep because that should be another video. But thing number three that I think that you should not do within your first 12 months is going to be to put braids on top of your locks. Now, listen, before y'all come for me in the comments, because I already know. <laughs> like, I know people, I have friends, I, I know people who have you know, put goddess locks or they put box braids or whatever the case may be on top of their locks in that first year. They've also done crochets in that first year. Um, I just, I just don't believe that you should be doing any type of manipulation to the lock in the first year because your lock is forming, okay? And I know a lot of times whenever you do these styles um, on your locks, it can cause like indentions in your, in your locks and you get bumpy locks. I've seen it. So if you want straight locks, if you want your locks to be the, the form of your locks to be uniformed, then I don't recommend that you do any type of um, topical style. So that's your plaits, that's your uh, crochets, and um, all the way down to your goddess locks. Like I just, I just, I just don't recommend it, sis. Okay, like fight me in the comments if you feel like it. I don't know what to tell you. That's just all I, that's, I kept it simple. I mean, again, your first 12 months is very vital. Your first 12 months, a lot is happening. There's a lot of moving, you know, things that's going on in your first 12 months. But the biggest thing that you should just do in that time is just enjoy it because you can't get those months back. Once you are a matured lock at Honey, there's no getting those months back. I wish I could go back to when my locks were short. Um, my short stage was actually my favorite stage. And right now I'm down, I'm on pit length now. So like, I just kind of miss those shorter stages. So I do recommend enjoying them. It's like, it's like when you have a baby, right? And your baby, those first 12 months, that baby is new. That baby's going through so many changes. Um, that baby is learning how to roll over, is learning how to coo, is learning all the things that it needs. And you can't get that first year back, right? Like after that, it's just straight progression from there. And that's how your locks are. I just wanted to come to you guys and just talk about, you know, the first couple stages, what happens between zero and 12 months. And honestly, this video can be way longer than what I just made it, but I tried to keep it short. I tried to keep it sweet for y'all and just to come and give y'all some love on Valentine's Day, right? So till next time, I love you all. If you like this video, click the like button. Don't forget to subscribe and drop me a comment down below. For Valentine's Day, I want y'all to give me some hearts now. Drop me some hearts down below. Till next time, guys. Love you.